I really love your home. Oh, well, thank you, Mimi. It Mimi. Has a very European feel. You think? Oh, I lived in London for years, so yeah, this feels familiar. Where in London? I, I was stationed at Upwood in the 60s. Right downtown, but we were almost never there. My husband is an illustrator, so we traveled. I knew she was going to be there. That that realtor. That was before my youngest Lucy was diagnosed with endocarditis. <laughs> oh, gosh, is, is that? Uh... It's a bacterial infection of the heart valves. It's yeah, it can be. Oh. Oh, that's terrible. Is she all right? <laughs> Your daughter. Is she okay? It, yes. T thank you. Um, the doctor's put in a prosthetic valve, so she's Lucy's fine. Running and walking, riding horses. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I knew she was going to get you. caught. Excuse me. There. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. I just called the police. Okay, then. I know you stole that spoon. What spoon? What are you talking about? You're a thief. Mm-hmm. You are in big trouble. <laughs> kind of think maybe it's Marie that's in big trouble here. In jail? <laughs> so, good news. The officer spoke to the homeowners and they're not going to press charges. Good. I won't either. Hmm. Okay, then. So, we're good to go. You ready? Marie, you want to go home? See, I don't think she does. Oh, she had an idea. Yes, it's Skylar White calling for Saul Goodman, please. Yes, it is important. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry, same as before. This is not right. You you cannot shut me down. You cannot do this. Mr. Wallace, I've checked your wastewater inside and out. I've checked your runoff gutters and now out here. More contaminants. <laughs> Ammonia, acetone, benzene, nitrobenzene. No, no, no. This is a mistake. Where is Gary? He, he'll tell you my soap is very good, very green. No, your soap is not the issue. It's your filtration system. At the very least, you'll need to retrofit. But if you're leaching into the groundwater, which looking like a real possibility here. You're going to need to replace your system entirely. Replace? Do you know what cost that is? $200,000. <laughs> 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 so far, you're right. From now on, uh, we will be extra careful and uh, clean. No more pollution. OK, yes. No, I'm sorry. The state requires you to suspend all commercial activity until these levels reach the mandated minimums. Tell me why you shut me down. What laws did I break? What laws? Several. Tell me exact specific laws or I refuse. Specific. Right now. Just tell me exact the specific what laws, laws. I Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> She's feeding it to him. Hazardous Waste Act of 1978, Section 74, Chapter 4. 
for part 13 states. Whenever the disposal of solid waste or hazardous waste presents an imminent or substantial endangerment, the offender may be fined not more than $5,000 each day in which the violation occurs. All right, okay. Now, the... Okay, baby. U.S. Code, Title 15, Chapter 53, <laughs> Subchapter 1, Section 2606. Satisfied? Was that specific enough for you? <laughs> well, he could sell. <laughs> <laughs> so, rock collecting? They're minerals. <laughs> yeah. A um, little bit of a sore spot there. You know, sort them, label them. Um, it's actually a lot of work. Yeah, no, it looks like it. So, what's up? What am I, Ironside? <laughs> no, but you're a drug mm. cop who knows a local talent, and you're a pal I just did a favor for, so let me pick your brain a sec. You ever come across a guy by the name of Gail Bedecker? Gail. Nope. Someone came along and shot him in the face. Okay. No signs of forced entry. No signs of robbery. Okay, so... Uh, but they found those lab notes. They found a notebook. Mm-hmm. I made a copy for you in case you're interested. Looks like it pertains to some kind of methamphetamine super lab. Want my advice? You take this to Steve Gomez. He'll help you out. I give this to Steve Gomez, and all of a sudden it becomes a DEA case. What good's that do me? Is Walt's name in that notebook? This is going to be the thing that really spurs him. This is going to snap him out, isn't, out of the funk he's in, isn't it? Well, not immediately anyway. Oh, oh. The three, seven, nine, and he says no. <laughs> She's waiting for Whatever his name is to call it from the car wash. Well, it was a good try. Nail salon sounded promising. What do you think? <laughs> Nail salon. I think we wait. Wait? Skylar, it has been five hours. No call. <clears throat> Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> there he is. White residents. Oh, hello, Mr. Wallenitz. <laughs> Am I still interested? Well, I, I think that depends. Yes, 879 was the original offer, but that seems high to me now. Now I'm offering 800. No, 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 don't do that. Why? Don't do that. <laughs> because you're an unpleasant person, Mr. Wallenitz. You're rude to me, you're disrespectful. And the market seems much softer than I thought, so 800. Uh huh. <laughs> hmm. Well, I understand that you're disappointed, but that is my final offer. I'm sorry we couldn't make it work. Goodbye. <laughs> Playing hardball with him. He'll call back. <laughs> Phone's about to ring again here. Well, he's not minute, calling you it? back. There he is. No. What? No, just... Four. Hello? Hello, Mr. Wallenitz. 
Hey. Hey. Money! I thought he was about to kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> He's just entertaining himself. Two. So that was uh clean cars. Gus's new and guy. Money. Outside, wasn't it? The guy that replaced Victor? I told you we'd get it. <laughs> Did you? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. It was really great work. It's impressive. Thank you. And, so and when I look at this, this image that is part of the record, I am very concerned about what sort of distraction that could be, whether it's from any sort of signage, but especially a signage changing every five seconds thank you he's gonna pick up that any other questions case and start reading through we have it. a motion and a second on the floor to grant the appeal all those in favor raise your hand and say yes yes there's four in the affirmative those opposed there's five no's uh yep he's reaching for it <laughs> He's hooked. He's he's in it now. There's four in the negative. That passes. Yep, he's on it. <laughs> well, it looks like some of the storylines that I mentioned at the beginning of the episode are starting to come into a little bit of focus here. We've got Hank getting on to the case of Gale. I don't remember his last name. Where he left those lab notes when. And when he was shot and they they had the police in there, and they focused in on that that lab notebook or whatever that was, lab notes. I pointed that out and said, uh-oh, that, that's going to be something you watch or a, words to that effect. So now Hank has a copy of that, and that's going to snap him out of this funk that he's been in, and he's going to get back onto that case. And he, I think he's going to start putting two and two together, and he's going to see that Gale was working on this blue, what did they call it, blue sky or sky blue, something like that, the blue meth. And he's going to start piecing it together and, and start working it backwards. And we'll see if it's going to connect any dots anywhere. But it's going to be interesting to watch that play out. And then I think I mentioned in a previous video about Marie and her kleptomania or her, her shoplifting, the, that need that she had to steal and they just kind of let that go after, what was it, the first season, first couple of episodes where she did it. And then I think they they had a little scene, confrontation scene between Hank and Marie, where I think even when the scene was over, didn't Hank run over some little boy's uh, remote control car? So I was wondering if that was going to come back into play at any point. And here we saw it come back into play in this episode. So that's coming into a little bit more focus, her her problem there. And then they just showed here right at the end a man outside of Gus's house, not Gus, outside of Walt's house. And I believe that was the new guy that replaced Victor. And now he's, it looks like he's watching or t tailing uh, Walt. So it's going to be interesting to see where, where this is going. It, you know, he Gus has his man watching Walt and following Walt. And of course he has the cameras set up in the lab now. So it seems to me that things are going to come to a head at some point here with, with Walt, especially if Walt realizes and discovers that he's being followed. 
And Jesse, he Jesse's in a bad way. He needs to snap out of it himself and take his home, take possession of his home back and get these people out of his house. So I can see where these storylines are starting to kind of stack up here. And we're going to start going through some of these storylines, I guess, here in the next few episodes. So someone mentioned before that the episodes just kind of ramp up, starting a couple of episodes back, and it just kind of ramps up each episode after that, and I can see where that's coming to fruition. So if you'd like to see some of my full reactions, you can head over to my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash 31mike. And I'll see you on the next episode.